Hey everyone, today I want to tell you about Beatrice and Virgil by Jan Martel. You all probably know that I read Life of Pi and really liked the book. And I always wanted to read something else by Jan Martel. So when I saw Beatrice and Virgil for a pound in England, I thought I'll just have to get the book. And I was surprised by the story. I don't really know what I expected because it's the story is sort of about a donkey and a monkey. But not only. Okay, I'll try to summarize the story. It starts off with Henry, a famous author who had a successful novel. And then he wrote for five years on a book about the Holocaust. And then he presented it to his publishers and they didn't like it. So he decides, I'll stop writing. I'll move to a new city. I'll do something else. And that's what he does. That's the beginning of the story. So he's in this new city and he still gets letters from fans all around the world and there's this one letter from the town he lives in at the moment and there's this person who sent him parts of a story and he says i need your help and he's like reading the story and decides i don't really know what's going on here and he wants to drop off a letter at this person's place just to tell him like yeah thank you and good luck with your novel and whatever and then he goes there and he discovers that it's a taxidermist store or whatever you call it and by surprise he just walks in there because he's curious and he meets a taxidermist he's called Henry as well what a strange coincidence and so they start talking and they start to talk about the play and the character of the taxidermist is a really strange one he's really distanced and he's not emotional he's really not very polite. He doesn't say hello, he doesn't say thank you. It's just a weird character. But the story he told, or the novel he wants help with, is a play. A play about Beatrice and Virgil, a monkey and a donkey. And they just talk. It reminds a little bit of um, Waiting for Godot, like two people talking all the time, not and nothing else happening. So that's the main part of the book, that Henry goes to the taxidermist and the taxidermist reads him his play. He never gives him pages to read, he just reads him different scenes and they're not in the correct order. And what I really like about this is that you get to read the play in the book. So you read the novel about Henry and you also get the play about Beatrice and Virgil. And that's what the story is about, how they work together on this novel. Well, basically not work together, but the novel, this novel, is telling you the story of Henry and also of the play and what the play wants to tell you. And that is the interesting part because the play is more than just a play about a donkey and a monkey. And there are so many hidden meanings in it and I really like that. When I looked at Goodreads the other day and put up that I'm reading this novel, it showed me all the other ratings and it was really weird because People either like this novel or they don't like it. It had like one star or four stars. Nothing really in between, but just one or four, maybe five. It was really strange. I didn't read any of the reviews because I was in the middle of the novel, but I thought that was very interesting and also understandable because the story, there is not that much story. It's basically the author going and helping someone else with the play and trying to figure out what this character is all about, what this play is all about. And as a reader, you're just sucked into this. You just feel with the author trying to find out what is this about? What's with this character? Who is he? And you're really drawn into the play. It's really a nice read to read this novel. It just flows from narration to play, narration to play, and it just reads perfectly. I really liked reading it and the story, I'm not going to tell you the big part what it's all about because I think it's giving away too much and it would spoil it, but it is interesting and gripping and meaningful and it has so many images in there. It's just, it just blows your mind how different this topic is tackled and I really liked it for that reason. Nevertheless, I cannot really recommend this book to everyone. If you're really a plot-driven person, you're not gonna like this. If you're looking for character development, you're not gonna like this. If you just like to read books about authors and how they work and how things work there, you might not like it either because you don't get any help. It doesn't tell you, oh, this is the secret of the craft thing. It's just about these two people and it's just gripping. 
But I cannot even say who's going to like this book because you really have to like writing and thinking about the writing and like, I like the way it's written, but not only that, also what it says, but it's not on the open. Do you understand what I'm trying to say here? I guess for me it was a good read because I sometimes really like to read about books that talk about things in different ways and try to tell stories differently. And I can be so sucked into writing that I don't care about the story. And as I said, there isn't that much of a story. It is twisted and turns and it's interesting, but nothing much is happening. Yeah, I guess that's enough rambling for one book. Thank you for watching and if you've read the book, let me know in comments.